Hello everyone. So I recently discovered I have far too many models. So I thought I would do something about it. And that thing would be do little combat patrol fights and film them mainly for my own amusement. Uh, I'm calling them BattleBox Bat Reps because they're battle reports using the battle boxes. And yeah, I'm going to see how things go. The setup for today is very simple. A spaceship has been shot down in the planet of Alonius, where the space marines of the Trench Hounds are currently fighting just a ton of orcs. They have come in to try and pick up the supplies, only to find that along with the supplies, there are just a load of Tyranids that have turned up and they are going to try and wipe out everything themselves. The mission is simple. You've got the four points here. You've got to try and capture them. You get five points for each one you get. And that's basically it. Whoever has the most points at the end of the D game wins. So we are going to start with the basic roll off. See who's going to go first. Is it going to be the Space Marines or is it going to be the Tyranids? The Tyranids are going first, and I have a feeling the Von Ryan Leapers over there are about to do nasty things to these poor Infernus Marines. Okay, so this is the end of Tyranid movement turn one. We've got the these Termagants managed to get a huge advance fold and just ran up and took the the um, flank objective. The Psychophage has run into the middle of the board so he can threaten absolutely everything. The Barb Gaunts have gone onto the ruins over there so they get some cover. And these Termagants didn't get quite so far, but next turn they'll be able to grab that objective as well. With the Winged Hive Tyrant, uh, Winged um, Tyranid Warrior being in the back over there. The big problem is these Von Ryan's Leapers, who are very much in charge range of these Infernus Marines. The Infernus Marines are going to spend their command point to get a um, overwatch shot onto them and they get 5d6 shots. My word! Okay, that... <laughs> I, I think I make that to 22 so um, I'm just going to grab um, a bucket of dice and set fire to some... I, I love these guys. So bad for them. Um, yeah, wave goodbye. This is the last time we're going to be seeing these guys. Right, okay. I've barely managed to fit them in my hand. That is strength 5, toughness 5. So these falls to wound. Ooh, that is quite, quite poor. Yeah, that was 8 wounds. So that is 4 up saves. Okay, that's bit cocked, I'll roll it again, if you know. okay, that is, they have three wounds each, that is, one dead Von Ryan's Leaper, and one has taken a wound. Now we can go to the Tyranid shooting phase, which I have a feeling is going to be quite nasty. So, to kick off the shooting phase, we have these lovely people, uh, creatures over here, the Barb Gaunts, who are just in range of all five of these guys. Basically, they're going to start getting softened up before the Von Ryan Leapers charge them. They get 5d6 shots. Not as good as the flames, though. <laughs> Still 14 shots needing fours to hit. That is not bad at all. Right. Okay, so the Barb Gaunts actually have blast weapons as well, which means they have a total of 19 shots on these guys, hitting on fours. Ah, ah, oh. <laughs> that is, that's awful. Wow, wow, you are, you are literally, literally created with one job. <sighs> okay, so that is a total of six hits, needing three to wound. <laughs> three wounds, wow. Get three up saves. Um, all that are for one wound. Excellent. 
On the other side of the table, we have 10 Termagants, which are going to be firing into these Terminators. They, I'm not expecting them to do much. They advanced and they're not great. But they are, they're hitting on f um, fives, wounding on th fours, because Terminator's a toughness five now. I think I need to keep reminding myself. Actually, that is not awful. So that is a four hit, wounding on fours. Uh, split up. Saving on twos. They've just done, these little guys have just done two wounds to these Terminators. Which is better than they have any right to achieve. On to the Tyranid's charge phase. The only thing that can charge is the Von Ryan's Leapers, who are going straight into the Inferno squad. Uh, that is a six, which is well in range. They are so close. And yeah, they're going to charge in and start cutting people up. Okay, that's what the charge looks like from there to there. You can see where I forgot to move the wound dice. Uh, they get six attack sheets. That's 12 attacks hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Oh, God. Okay, that is eight hits. That was six wounds. They get four up saves. Oh, I make that two dead Infernus Marines. Okay, the Infernus Marines actually get three attacks each. That's nine attacks, hitting on threes or wounding on fives. Ooh, the Infernus Marines do not want these guys to live. Uh, wounding on fives. Uh, pick up, pick up. <laughs> One wound, um, which is saved. Ah, uh, yeah, the Inferno Marines are screwed. The Von Ryan's Leapers are entirely about stabbing things in melee, which they do quite well. Okay, so Space Marines turn one, and I think their big things are going to be trying to take out the Von Ryan's Leapers, taking the Termagants off of that, and I put Oath of Moment on the Psychophage, we're going to see if we can have a big damn heroic moment and have the um, Captain charge it. And yeah, let's see how that goes. I imagine not great. The Space Marines have very slowly advanced up the battlefield. Um, they're, not, they're not running mainly so they can then charge these poor bastards in front of them. Um, I, for the record, I don't think this is a good tactical choice to charge the Psycho Phase with the Captain. I just think it's a cool one, and if it works, it'll be amazing. These guys charging, shooting at the Termagants, and if they survive charging the remainder, that's more for me. That's just quite fun. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to start by shooting using um, Captain Storm Bolter into the Psycho Phase. He needs twos to hit, then sixes to wound. Would you look at that? He's got oath of moment, so I'd be what <laughs> brilliant. And then sixes to wound. Uh oh, one wound. Okay, that is. I am pretty sure the psychophage has a three-up save. Get bear with me in a second. Yeah, the psychophage has a three-up save. The captain has done nothing to the monster before he charges it. Looking less good for him now. Right. Uh, following that, the Terminators are actually going to split fire. All the Storm Bolters are going into the Termagants, and the Assault Cannon is going to go into that, try and take a few wounds off of it. Because the Librarian is attached to the unit, they have um, Veil of Time, whatever it's called, the one that gives them sustained hits. So all their sixes to hit count as two hits, and they have 20 attacks. Actually, I'm going to roll it behind the dice building. There you go. Oh, that's pretty bad for Terminators. <laughs> guys, guys, what are, you, what are you doing over there, guys? Feel feel bad about your accuracy. Okay, actually, with um the sustained attack, it actually ends up 14 hits, needing three to wound, which is not bad. 
that is, though, oh, what is going on? <laughs> that is a total of six wounds with five up saves. It's five term, a term against dead, at least. Oh, that's summed, I guess. Also, just remember the librarian also has a smite witch fire bolt psychic attack, which gets six shots. Uh, that is uh, needing threes to hit. This is considerably better. Just going to grab another dice to add in. That's seven hits from six shots. He's really showing them how it's done. <laughs> Wounding on threes. Uh, that is five wounds. Minus one saves, so they get six up saves from this because he's not using the focused one that can um, harm him. So the librarian, there he is, right there, right there with his little porn star tash. He is, <laughs> yeah, he's wiped out the rest of the unit on his own, um, proving that he, why he is the hero and the rest of them are just the minions. Okay, now that that is cleared, the Terminator with the Assault Cannon can try and get a bit of damage on this guy. It's got a sustained attack and a um, devastating wound, so theoretically it might actually do a decent amount. <laughs> Six hits, it's like, it's threes to hit to sustain, so that, that's six to hit. <laughs> it needs fives to wound, but sixes ignore armour. I'll take two wounds. Two wounds is not bad. I don't believe it has a P. No, no, it doesn't. I will learn these stats at some point. So I believe it's a three up save. The Psychophage makes both of them. Oh my god. Um, I mean, in both the literal and sort of figurative definition, this thing is a complete tank. Oh, and um, before I move on. The Inferno Squad have bolt pistols, that's threes to hit, fives to wound. Oh, that's two hits, that is entirely statistically average, fives to wound. One wound, that is, I think, statistically average, or I guess. Uh, and the Von Ryan Lieber has a four up save, so it just blinks off the armour. Excellent. Okay, time to do some charges. Okay, uh, the all of the Terminators, the Captain and the squad, are declaring a charge onto the Psychophage. I've just measured it. The Captain needs a four. The Terminators need a six. So, Captain first is well in. The Terminators... Ah! Seven inches. They are all in on this. I was about to say poor bastard. It really isn't. Um, yeah, it's done. It's done its job this game, just <laughs> the new breed of distraction can't effects, I guess. Okay, yeah, they have charged it. I'm going to do the Terminator Squad first because, hell yes, uh, power, the Power Fists, I've got four Power Fists, they've got three attacks each. That's 12 attacks hitting on threes. They still get sustained attacks from the, um, Librarian, not that it matters this time. That the, these guys are not doing well. Wow. Seven hits needing fives to win. <sighs> the elite of the chapter, everyone. Power sword next. Um, four attacks. Still need. Actually, yeah, it's still three to hit, five to wound. It's the same as Jesus Christ. So the power sword gets five hits. Needs fives to wound. Um, only one wound, but you know what? I will take it. Um, get armor save. <laughs> it makes this armor save because this thing can tank literally anything. The space means throwing it. Okay, Librarian next, that is a threes to hit, fives to wound again. Oh, that is not bad, no sustained hits, but I'll take it. Fives to wound, one wound, it gets a four up save, which it fails. I, 
Well, for the first time this game, I'm going to need to look up the damage statistic for a Terminator. Well done, guys. Yeah, the Liberian does D3 damage. It, so that is yeah, two damage. It's literally infinitely better than the rest of his squad. So, uh, on to the Tyranids' um, turn. Von Roy and Sleepers have fight first, so they technically uh, interrupt the captain over there. And just so I remember I'm going to do it, it might come up in future. Like, I don't know, when things are fighting each other. What am I talking about? They have 12 attacks hitting on threes. Uh, they don't have sustained attacks. I've been thinking about them. That is nine hits. Wounding on threes. Oh, that's not brilliant for the Space Marines. Uh, saves of four, because it's minus one AP. That's two dead Space Marines. That's only the um, Sergeant left now. Plan! Yeah. Now it's on to the captain, and I know what you were thinking. Why didn't you use a veteran instinct? And the real answer is, I absolutely forgot it existed. But the answer I'm going to give is so it means the captain could be a big damn badass. He needs to do eight wounds and six attacks, which is actually doable. His weapon's damaged too. He needs twos to hit, re-rolling misses. He needs fives to wounds, re-rolling failed wounds. So it's... Doable. Okay, so <laughs> thank God for that oath of moment. That is six hits, fives to wound. Another roll like that, and he can be the hero he's meant to be. One successful to start with. He is not going to bring down the psycho phase this turn. Uh, okay, and that is one save, which does fail at least. I believe it's two damage. Yep, two damage, so it's down to six wounds. <laughs> now it's going to hit back. Okay, next up, the Psychophage is going to use its phenomenally named Talons and Betentacled Maw. And it's going to go off the Termigate... Term, termigators? <laughs> <laughs> the Termagants in Terminator armor. The Terminator squad rather than the captain. Because it's been wounded now. So it's hitting on twos and wounding on threes. And can probably do a decent amount of carnage. It's an anti-psycho attack. But it actually its strength is high enough. That it's going to wound the psycho, any, um, psycho on a three roll um, anyway. So it's still pretty good. Gets D6 plus one attacks. Two, good, 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 good. Two's to hit, two hits, three's to wound, two wounds. It has devastating wounds, so it goes straight to their invulnerable save, which I believe is a four plus, but I will just check. And uh, no, devastating wounds ignores invulnerables too, so this lovely chap here is dead. And uh, bah, 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 oh, this one's right here. He takes two wounds. Okay, that is. It's eight terminated out. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly don't know if the Tyranids are doing well or not. Like, it feels like they are, but that's only because there are so few Space Marines that, like, any casualty they take feels like a lot. I, oh, who knows. But either way, it is going to be, just to finish with the turn, the Infernus Marine is going to chop at the thingy um ron ryan sleepers gonna hit twice not gonna wound um yeah i'm, I'm not feeling particularly great about this guy but he's lasted to the end of the first turn which is longer than i thought he was going to okay welcome to the start of the tyranids turn two and tyranids get 10 victory points five from that objective and five from that objective, there is no one close enough to that one or that one. Yeah, it is time for the Tyranids to start doing stuff. Okay, it's the end of the Tyranid movement phase. The 
winged hive tyrant has come over here ready to charge the space moon captain the termagants have run up here to grab the thing the um, objective and i'm going to use teeming hordes to bring on 2d6 more termagants a whole four on this side to go after this objective look at them there if it focus there you go running in ready to grab that objective next turn i'm fairly certain these guys are still going to be let's call them um held up right um everything in the space we know i'm using gauge so it's a charge for the um hive for the um Tyranny warrior he is definitely in he's gonna charge down there and go after the captain okay we are on to the fight phase and the tyranny warrior prime is going to attack first i've used one command point for voracious assault so he's hitting on turn twos re-rolling misses which he <laughs> didn't need he's wounding on threes All wounds? Oh my god, what's his AP? I think it's minus one. Okay, yeah, yes, it's minus one. It's three up saves. The captain needs to make three of these or it dies. The captain's dead. Um, the, <laughs> the, the, the Tyranny Warrior Prime turns up and just nopes him, which also gains him four victory points, and he's going to consolidate into the other ter um, terminators oh crap next up we have the von ryan sleepers stop me if you heard it before 12 attacks threes to hit threes to wound four up saves oh uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. god it's so much nice when you don't need to check things um that's actually fairly poor hit Three's to wound. Oh, good. Okay, that is two wounds. Okay, he's going to make two four up saves. <coughs> uh, the entire unit lasts just a turn and a half, which I'm quite impressed by. And these two are going to consolidate just towards the objective a little bit. That just make it look a bit nicer, honestly. <laughs> Right, next up is going to be the Terminators. I'm going to put everything into the Psycho Face trying to kill it uh, before it rips apart another Marine. Um, yeah, everything in. I'm going to remember to use um, uh, Veterans of the Chapter this time to give them... Uh, so it's three to hit, five to wound, re-rolling fails. Uh, oh, and it's still got the Oath of Moment, so I can re-roll the misses. Oh, the moment is very good, isn't it? I don't think it's going to save the space, space moons this time, but fives to wound, re-rolling, fails. Oh, that is very good. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, that's much better than last time. That is five up saves. Does two damage each. Okay, so it saves two of them. One thing I forgot last time is it actually has a five plus feel no pain as well. So it can save all of these. It needs to save three of these to survive the power fists. It absolutely does not. I that I believe this thing has deadly demise though, which means it might just explode and kill another one anyway. Specifically that one. Yep, Deadly Demise 1 on a 6. It's going to kill that one and do a wound on the um, um, Tyranny Warrior. That is not a 6. It dies. They kill the Psycho Face. The Terminators have actually done something. Okay, so um, I actually uh, forgot that terminators have a rule called fury of the first so they get plus one to hit against the target that has oath of moment so they should have been hitting on twos 
uh, learning for next time. More importantly, the this is the only unit the Space Marines have on their turn two. They've got no victory points. Uh, the Hive Tyr <laughs> Tyranid Warrior is um, the um, Oath of Bowman target. They have surrounded it, and now they are going to hit it a lot. It actually has um, Psychostatic Veil, the one that gives it minus one to hit. So there's still threes to hit it, but I have a feeling that's not going to help it, even with a four up invuln as well. Okay, yes, it was Psychostatic Veil. I'm also using a point for um, Hyper Reflexes, so they're hitting on fours. Wounding on threes, re-rolling literally everything. Jesus. Re-rolling. Earthquake, no. Yeah, that. Hitting on fours, wounding on threes. Uh, you rolling the one fail, Christ. Four up in Von saves. I think it needs to make basically all of these or it's going to die. Yeah, that's five wounds. He, he's dead. He's real dead. Okay, yeah, it is dead, but it has death blow on a four or more. No. On a formal, it could have fought as normal, but it doesn't, so it's just real dead. The Terminators have bullied it out of existence. Right, it is the Tyranids' turn three. They have got 15 points. I've done all of the movement, and now I've got two things to resolve, which is the Terminators are going to overwatch into the Von Ryan Sleepers, and then I'm going to reinforce that unit a little bit more. First up, using the assault cannon, needing sixes to hit, and then three to wound, which is useless information. Then there are four storm bolters, so that'll be 16 shots. Okay, that is 16 shots, needing six. That is actually pretty good. That's four hits, and because of sustained hits, so I think eight hits. Needing five fives to wound. That's four wounds. They have four up saves. Might kill another one, that's not bad. Does, it kills another one, and the other one's down to two wounds. Great. Oh. Also, with teeming hordes, these things get another five, getting them back up to nine out there, starting ten. Okay, the Terminators are completely surrounded in the Tyranid shooting gallery. So, the Bob wants to get to go first with their 5d6 shots. Oh, my lord. Right, that is 18 shots, hitting on threes. Blah, blah, blah. Wounding on fours. It's not brilliant. Saving on twos. Oh, that's all things. Fair enough. It doesn't matter what edition it is. The best way of dealing with terminators is always massed firepower so that is 10 termigan hitting on fours wounding on fours that's five hits is four wounds that is two up saves all survive then another nine shots from the other unit. That will just do them all in one take. That is six hits. Jesus, that is four wounds. That's still no save. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
they finally decided to be tanky bastards. Okay, as a formality, I'm going to roll for the Von Ryan Leapers charge. Would you look at that? It's in range. Blip. And that is going to be six attacks. Hitting on threes, wounding on fours. Ooh. Better. Five hits. Three wounds. I think that's three saves. I don't think that. That's going to matter. I'll measure it up just before I redo the shot. He does actually kill a Terminator. Okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> it's time for the Terminators to retaliate, and I don't think it's going to be pretty. So, having piled in and having started with the power fists as is tradition now, they need four to hit because he's using hyper reactive. Was to hit them three store wounds. Oh, oh, that's actually not great. And they don't have um oath of moment. Oath of moment was on the um turn of warrior. Three store wound. Only one wound. It's got a six up. It goes to its invulnerable. No, it, it is dead. It's still dead. <laughs> oh, uh, he has fallen off. Um, I think they're going to stay there because I think. They can't kill all the Termagants, the Termagants can keep coming back. They, I don't think, the Space Marines is currently 25 to the Tyranids, nothing to the Space Marines. <laughs> so, I don't think the Tyranids can act, you know, can lose this. So I think the Space Marines are going to try and take out the Barbicorns before they get wiped out. Because otherwise, yeah, they are kind of screwed. Okay, the Terminators are going to take a big long shot at this thing, everything into this unit, and then they're going to try charging the Barbicorns. So, six shots with the Assault Cannon. <laughs> so, the Assault Cannon gets nine hits with six shots. Twos to wound. My word. Okay. <laughs> Just going to check his AP quickly. Give me a second. It actually has AP zero, but devastating wounds. So it's one instant kill and five up saves. So it got seven. Dude with the assault cannon has done incredibly well. <laughs> uh, like this entire game, he's just got seven kills with six shots. And you know what, I'm going to do the witch fire next. That's D6 shots for five. Because, yeah, if. Don't even need storm bolters. That would be amazing. Okay, that is three hits. Da -da -da. Earthquake, no. I believe that's two wounds. And I think witch fire is minus two, so that's nine. <laughs> I think that's nine dead termagants before the storm bolters. No, no, it's only AP minus one. They do get six up saves. No, it's still nine dead termagants. <laughs> okay, that is. Let's just finish them off then. That is eight shots from the storm. No, it's not. It's 12 shots because the librarian has a storm bolter as well. Onto the last poor bastard. Okay, that actually is not brilliant, but it doesn't need to be. That's two sixes to add back in. Threes to wound. Ah. <laughs> that many five up saves or the unit's wiped. Would you look at that, the unit's wiped. So, the term Terminators are... Six inches away from these guys, they're going to spend their last command point to try and overwatch them first. Uh, getting very few shots, that is. All the dice, I need sixes to hit. Oh, 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 there it is. Now, one thing I have just remembered is that the um. Uh, because they got hit by it, they're actually at minus 
two to um, movement and charges. That is a three hits there, needing fours to wound, two wounds, minus no AP. Yeah, they are fine, but they do need an eight inch charge to get to the barb corn, so it's going to be another round of shooting. Okay, it's charged, minus two to the roll. Ooh, no, the Terminator's stuck there now. Cool, yeah, another round of shooting. Um, yeah, going into turn four. Like I said, the Terminator cannot win this at this point. Uh, it's basically just holding on while I guess the teleport lock gets them the hell out of there. <laughs> Oh, the, this is not how I thought this was going to go, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so two units are going to stay where they are for the movement. Apart from, I'm going to use Teeming Hordes for another 2d6 Termigants. Another seven that are going to come on here so they can get more shots in on the Terminators. Okay, with them coming on here to flank them again. Go for 5d6 shots from the barb gaunts. I'm getting, yeah, not a huge amount, but I don't really need to be at this point. It's just piling on all of the pressure. Yeah. Need threes to hit. A rolling dice one hand is real hard. Okay, that's the better. Hit it, that is a fours to wound, and also the terminator got minus two um, move and charge, which probably won't be too bad this time. Fours to wound is only three wounds. Two up saves. Oh, they do pile on another wound onto the last regular loot, regular dude. So, onto the Dermigan shooting. Okay, nine shots, fours to hit, fours to wound. Yeah, it's basically a foregone conclusion at this point. Because the Termigants can keep turning up, and while they're on, they aren't fantastic, but two up saves. They will eventually start plinking through the armor and yeah like the terminator will probably take out dozens of them but like they can't stop them they can't outpoint them oh this is the um, other seven by the way uh two hits uh two wounds um oh no 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 this newly arrived unit kills off another Terminator. See, see what I mean? It's just like, it's just plinking. It's like death by a thousand flesh borer shots. Right, the Space Marines have moved up their three inches and they're going to pile everything into the barb corner. Just ignore the Terminators for now. Uh, it's going to be six shots with the... Um, Assault cannon, which uh, that's, that's going to be six hits, that's three to wound. Oh, sweet lord, no AP, so four up save. <laughs> Jesus Christ, um, eight shots with the um, storm bolters. I'm going to do the witch fire last. Um, Rerolling because of both deployment. Cool. Uh, fours to wound. Okay, boy of the emperor. Four up saves. <laughs> uh, one barb gaunt is dead. Oh, I just had a thought. They're under half strength now, so. They just failed their battle shock test. <laughs> no, leadership six plus. No, they are fine. <laughs> Christ, that would have been impressed. That would have been just depressing. Okay, but yeah, so the Stormbolt is shot. And now I'm going to use a focused witch fire 
which will has a chance of getting hot, but also gets six shots, hitting on threes, re-rolling misses because of both the moment. That's five hits, wounding on threes. Three wounds. Okay. They do, so they've got six up saves. None of which they make. That is D3 wounds each. They've got two wounds each. So I'll do them one at a time. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I roll. And. He effectively does three wounds and on a one, I believe he dies. No, no, he's fine. Okay, that's at least something. Well, the Bob Gaunts are down to half health. And now they're going to get charged. Right, before the charge, <laughs> the Bob Gaunts are actually going to overwatch. I probably should have done this earlier, but that's um, 12 shots. Six, nine, twelve, needing sixes to hit them, fours to wound. Oh. And then, wow, not one hit. Okay, cool. Um, base moves are three inches away, which means they need five or more because of the barb cords. The base moves are in, they are here for blood. Right, okay, basically I'm going to uh, call it after this, I'm going to see if they can kill the barb gorgons and they teleport off because there is no way they can win this fight. Um, the Tyranids are massing around them. Okay, the barb gorgons are going to use hyper reactive because why not at this point. Uh, so the brave moves are threes to hit. As is tradition, power fist first. Threes to hit. Yep, um, twos to wound, so the only jump is four. Minus, I believe minus one AP, I'll roll and see if I get any four. No, okay, so one is dead, but it's one, <laughs> one wound anyway. Right, okay, let's see how Power Fist goes. Okay, that's... Threes to hit, all hit, threes to wound, two wounds, saves, I think it fails three, so I think that's three wounds, I'm going to check the AP on that, yeah, yeah, that's AP two, so that is three wounds from um, them, and there's one wound left for the librarian to deal with. Gonna <laughs> need all the help they can get. Three hits. Three is to wound. Six up saves. Any fail? Yeah. Yeah, that is the last of the barbicorns taken out. And while there is one turn left, space means cannot so, um, win this. The two are going to get another ten points. Going to basically end on um, five points to the space means like. 50 to the Tyranids, and I guess the Terminators are going to teleport out with the High Fleet Homunculus, having won the day with, I guess, sheer force of numbers. Uh, go with them, I guess. So, a Tyranid win uh, for the first game of the Battle Box Bat Reps. Um, yeah, I think the first few... Um, fights are going to be a bit of a learning experience like I think for the next one I'm going to see about picking up a dice tray because it turns out there's a reason people use them in um, uh, in like online you know battle report videos um, I, I don't know you can probably notice it but dice were going absolutely everywhere in that and yeah um, also one thing no one ever tells you is when you're trying to film a video, especially on a solo battle report, <laughs> you forget stuff a lot. I forgot a lot of rules um, 
fight early on where the I was complaining the Terminators weren't doing anything and it turns out it's because I forgot Oath of Moment and a bunch of their own little special rules. Um, honestly, um, that psycho phase right there probably should have died about a turn earlier. But I don't, I honestly don't think it would have helped at all. Um, honestly, I'm... I'm interested to see how they do against other opponents, but the Space Marines don't seem to have the mobility or the board control to actually, like, I don't know, like get objectives. Like, they, they can take a beating, like, Terminators are incredibly tanky, but, and they can wipe out, like, small units, but once you start putting them against bigger stuff, they're not really, like, fast or punchy enough to really, I don't know, I mean, I'll see how they do against other things, it doesn't feel like they're, um, yeah, they're, they're a particularly brilliant combat patrol, or it might just be that the Tyranids with their huge numbers, ability to respawn, and <laughs> their just speed are much better at the, you know, objective game, which tends seems to entirely be about well, I, I guess we'll see um got i have other combat patrols so um I'll, I'll start adding some more into the mix and see how things go and yeah um might we might discover that the poor trench hounds are just comically outmatched or it might be that the tyranids are just going to wipe out the entire sector will um I guess we'll find out um, next week. Uh, if you in inexplicably enjoyed this, um, you can do all the traditional things like comment if you want to see more, subscribe, and yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you all next week. Ta-da!